Welcome back. I am still in conversation with Mr. S. Ramadurai. Uh, Mr. Ramadurai, you know the Northeast rather well. Uh, apart from your uh, Tata Consultancy Services days, you are also now heading the Indian Institute of Information Technology in Guwahati, and you, of course, general, generally know the economy of the area. Now, the Northeast has waited long enough for big industries to come and open shop. That has not happened. What is the solution? What is your prescription? Because everybody says that it can be an IT hub, there can be a big bandwidth which can come from Bangladesh, etc. But uh, things have not really uh, uh, moved. And the, the activist policy, uh, many feel that activist policy, uh, we have not really gear, we are not really geared up, we have not been able to produce an entrepreneurial class to take advantage of the roads and railway connectivity as and when it comes. Because there is no point in trying this after the connectivity is there. You have to gear up for that. So how do you look at it? Sir? First of all, Northeast is one of the most beautiful parts of the country. Some of us who have traveled more than once love that part of the world, love that part of the country and would like to visit that again and again and again. Yeah. Given that the opportunities that exist are enormous, so long as you do a few things. One is when you talk about infrastructure, critical infrastructure, it's the road connectivity, yeah. power, power, in terms of waterways, in terms of air connectivity, rail connectivity, etc. Yeah. Second, we have got a bunch of neighbors who are very, very friendly today. Lucky's policy has really come a long way with regard to our relationship with Bangladesh or with Bhutan or uh, Myanmar yeah. or whatever mm. it is. Yes. And we share a very common border. Every state and every chief minister in the Northeast, irrespective of the party, is absolutely passionate about making a difference to their youth. Now the traditional arts and crafts and the kind of capabilities that exist using bamboo or using any material from there is again a golden opportunity for us. We should look Northeast as not just servicing the needs of the India alone, but on the entire Southeast Asia, through the road connectivity, through the air connectivity, or through the waterways, etc., etc. I think we have an historical opportunity to transform the entire region, whether it's agriculture, whether it is horticulture, whether it is manufacturing, whether it is some of the retail, etc., etc. And the talent has to be nurtured. Every state has a very unique ta talent and we must nurture it. If we have to bring them here to get skilled and then send them back, and entrepreneurial energy can be unleashed, that's what we have to look at. Absolutely. I want to pick your thoughts on two things. The academia industry interface is one, uh, which is not as much as it should be perhaps and the second the lab to land technology transfer we have the agriculture university we have the uh, northeastern the rdr the research laboratory uh, but you know location specific lab to land technology transfer which can uh, boost agricultural yields etc uh, not much uh, on and off we hear but there should be some visible things on the ground yeah, if there's yeah. a big institution locally it should be able to contribute no, I think the encouragement through these institutions and the transformation of these institutions is key. What is the mandate we want to prescribe for ourselves? What does the director want to do which is going to create the kind of capabilities we want for that part of the country? What are the kind of center inputs? What are the kind of industry inputs that needs to come together? Yeah. I think in all of these, the forums we need to create to connect some of these things, the forums we bring for all these connectivity that is there, you build a highway, people are going to travel. You build a waterway, people are going to experience. You encourage the tourism, it's going to bloom. Tourism requires a number of support systems that go with it, hotels. It requires guides, it requires uh, uh, articles to sell, local fabrics, local material, yeah. but for global needs. I think you've got to look at it in totality. I think in uh, Tata Consultancy Services, we did a complete study for tourism, tourism in the Northeast itself. People like the uh, tea, um, where uh, the amalgamations, tea plantations, they are doing quite a bit of work. I think these are all the things which are going to be connected together. It may appear that it's moving too slowly for all of us, but I think when things, the, are, happening on the things are happening on the ground, and it gives us hope. I think we either you look at it very positively through hope, or you can be continue, or you to, be can be continue to be cynical. Absolutely. I'm the one who looks at it positively. Absolutely, I think there is more sense in looking at things po positively rather than being critical all the time. Uh, one more thing I'd like to ask you: See, we, we India, 7.8 percent growth rate, or 7.5 percent growth rate, around around that, 7.5 to 7.8. Uh, now the point is. Urbanization is extremely low, overall about 30%. Uh, Northeast is even lower, about 17-18%. Uh, and where are 
we looking at? What are we looking at? Where is India heading? And how is scaling India going to impact on this overall growth rate? Do you have, do you have uh, a, a projection for that? Well, I think the country is capable of at least a 9 to 10% growth. 9 to 10%. On a in sustained what, what kind basis. of a time frame? I think we put our heart right. We do all the reforms we are talking about. If the um, Honorable Prime Minister's vision has to be translated on the ground by way of aligning the troops, I think we can easily achieve it in the next two to three years in terms of a nine years. and a half percent growth. Nine and a half percent. Nine, nine and a half percent growth, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But I think, provided the global scene is also a little bit of uh, murky at this time, True. because Europe is in a problem, America is going for the new elections. I think uh, Japan is still uh, not come out of uh, what it should be. So I think uh, assuming the global situation also improves, we have an opportunity because the domestic consumption is plenty, the ability to spend is plenty, but then the inclusiveness is what we are after. It's not that somebody gets very rich at the cost of the other, the others get left yeah. behind. Yeah. I think we cannot afford to miss out anybody an opportunity. Every youth of this country, every citizen of this country must get the opportunity to try out what they want and must get a livelihood, which is far beyond what it is today. Absolutely. Every youth in this country must get an opportunity. On that extremely positive note, Mr. Ashram Adorai, thank, thank you very you much so for much. being on my show. Thank Pleasure. you, sir. Thank you so much.